Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Midas short video series. My name is Rohit Joseph and I am a technical support engineer at Midas IT. In this video, we will be discussing bridge load rating in Midas as per Afro LRFI. Our main focus will be on V-stress bridges. This will be the main content for today's video. What is load rating? Purpose of load rating. When we have to do load rating? Load rating levels, process of load rating. At the end, load rating in Midas 7. The first five topics will be very basic and introductory. Our major topic will be the sixth one, load rating in Midas 7, focusing mostly in pre-stress bridges. So what is load rating? The determination of light load carrying capacity of a bridge which is already built. And we use the as-built bridge plans and supplemented by information gathered from the latest field inspection. That means if there is any deterioration or uh, change in bridge conditions, so those things will be simulated and the light load carrying capacity of the bridge will be determined. The load rating are uh, expressed as a rating factor or tonnage. The purpose of load rating is basically for the load posting, bridge strengthening, overweight allowances or for bridge closes. The, the bridge load rating provides a measure of the bridge ability to carry a given live load in terms of simple factor that into the rating factor. So if the bridge carrying capacity is not satisfactory then we can make the following decisions. When we have to do load rating. When designing a new structure it is required that the RF or the rating factor should be greater than or equal to 1 for HL93 vehicle or any design vehicle. So the legal load rating will never be required for a newly designed structure. But if there are any changes in the existing bridge, for example, if there is any change in live loads, different vehicles or different uh, new vehicles will be passing through the bridge. In that case, we have to go for load rating. Second one is dead roads, if there is any change in dead roads or any physical condition or there are any specific laws or specifications that we have to ensure. So in those kind of situations, we do the load rating. Load rating have different levels. So the three di uh, different rating levels are design load rating, legal load rating and permit load rating. Design load rating is the performance of the existing bridge for the design vehicles. The second one is the legal load rating. So if the design load rating is not satisfactory or the RF is less than one, in that case we go for the legal load rating. And in legal load rating, we will be checking for a single safe load cap cap capacity. For example, we will consider a single vehicle and we will be checking if the bridge is able to cater for that load, which is always definitely less than that of the design live load. This helps in bridge posting determination. And the permit load rating is for a higher load than that of a, a design live load like HL93. So it is usually applied to bridges having sufficient capacity. For example, we have a bridge which is of sufficient capacity, and in that there is a military truck that should pass. So in that case, we have to check how much overweight permit can be provided to the bridge. The result of each evaluation serve specific purpose and checks the need for further evaluations. This is the process for load rating. So the process starts with the bridge first being rated at the design inventory level under HL93 load model. If the bridge is found to be satisfactory at this level of rating, it's considered not to require posting for ample legal loads and state legal loads within the LRFT exclusion units. And hence the bridge can be evaluated directly for the permit load vehicles. But however, if RF is less than 1 and it is not, that means it is not satisfactory. In that case, we have to check at the operating level reliability. And again, if the RF is greater than or equal to 1, we can directly go for permit load, uh, permit vehicles, check for permit vehicles. And, but at these levels of uh, rating, if the bridge is found to be satisfactory, it is considered not to require for any posting. Now, however, if the bridge is found to be not satisfactory and the load posting will be required for legal loads and no permit analysis is allowed, 
if it is failing in legal load printing. So again, there will be some higher level of evaluations, which is optional, definitely. You can go for a refined analysis. That is basically a finite element analysis. We can do load testing in the current bridge, site-specific load factors, direct safety assessment, and we can simulate all those things in a finite element model. And in that case, if it is greater than or equal to one, we can definitely go for permit vacates. If it is again less than one, we have to initiate load posting or a repair or rehabilitate. And no permit vacates will be allowed. Load rating in minus seven. The rating factor is calculated as per after LR part. This is the formula that is used, which is there in the after LR part code. So the RF calculated in minus seven determines whether it is safe to carry the primary vehicle. If RF is greater than one, it is safe, and larger the RF, greater the load carrying capacity of the bridge. Now the vehicles. Midas Civil is having a huge database with standard vehicles, for example, HL90, HL Tando, Trana, all these standard vehicles for design is available. Apart from that, we have actual legal or permit loads also uh, for load rating. So for the standard vehicles will be in the database. And if you have any special vehicles like a well-trained tank or something of a unique vehicle, which is, you can create your own vehicles using the permit truck option. Midas Civil supports load rating of steel bridges and PSC bridges. But for today's video, I'll be concentrating mostly in PSC bridges. Before going into the software, I'll give a brief introduction of the uh, of all the parameters that we have to input. So uh, the first, we can see that the load rating as per AF to LR for 90, the latest code is available in Midas. The rating parameters can be defined. Here we have the system factor, which can be inputted according to Article 6A 4.2.4, provide the manual front bridge evaluation. So the system factor is multiplied to the flexure strength and shear strength, and therefore applied to all the elements. Now we have the nominal uh, flexure, shear, all those in things can be inputted, which we will be discussing in detail once we go into the software. We have the load rating case and the group settings. We also can modify the concrete material properties and provide reinforcements. We have a wide range of, uh, you know, display of results. We can have this in tabular format, in diagrams, and also we can generate a very detailed Excel report. Uh, let's go into the software now. For demonstration purpose, I have considered a very simple bridge, which is a PSCP composite bridge. As you can see, this is a three-span bridge. First, let's go to the load. I'll show you the moving load analysis, how it can be done. I'm not going into the depth because we have already many YouTube videos pertaining to this. You can browse through YouTube and find how uh, we can provide, do the moving load analysis in my civil as per AFCO standards. We have the vehicles in vehicles. You can click on add standard. So here you will find HL93 truck, HL93 DDM, and uh, HS20 FDG. Apart from this, you have the after standard loads and after legal or permit loads also. You have a wide range of loads in the database. If any load is not there, or if you want to have a permit vehicle, you can go to add user defined vehicle and click on permit truck and create, create your own vehicles once you create the vehicles you can create the moving load cases i have already created one okay. you can provide the number of loaded lanes and the maximum number of loaded lanes so all those things are, uh, you can definitely check out in youtube there are very explanatory videos you can find there as per well standards now going on to the rating. So in rating, you have the PSC bridge. Select the code. I am selecting the latest code after LR 90. In the rating parameters, you can see that the first one is the system factor. So system factor can be inputted according to the Article 6A.4.2.4, provided in the manual for bridge evaluation second edition 2011. The system factor will be multiplied to flexural strength and shear strength and therefore applied to all the elements. Now we have the strength limit for flexure. 
we can calculate that as per code or for strain compatibility so if the code is selected it calculates the nominal flexure resistance based on selected design code and if the strain compatibility is taken it calculates the nominal flexure resistance based on the strain compatibility of the member section we have the shear for shear we have to specify if it is non segmental or segmental in the service limit state you can set the stress limits for uh, compression and tension so first one is design load stress compressive stress that sense stress and stress for composite section that is for the slab you can again set the limits for legal loads again and at the end we have the permit loads for permit loads we can specify the pre-stressing steel stress how much it can deal and also for the reinforcements i'm not considering this for now we can also apply for diagnostic test as well load test measurement like i mentioned we can do load test more finer uh, refined analysis so in that case we will be placing certain uh, equipment in the bridge for calculating the displacement or strain basically we need the behavior of the bridge so for those cases we have we, we have two options we can either calculate the displacement or the strain so i am you can input accordingly i am selecting the displacement now the rating group settings the bridge group setting dialog box allows the user to apply the condition factor as per different groups already defined so we have to define the structure groups i have defined two structure groups sd1 and sd2 you can see here structure groups this is sd1 and this is sd2 now so in the group settings we have different values for condition factor that can be applied to different structure groups of the elements in the program the condition factor is internally multiplied to the nominal flexor pressure strength or resistance nominal strength uh, shear strength and nominal fatigue resistance to calculate the load factors and this can be again inputted according to the article 6a.4.2.3 of manual for bridge evaluation and this one is for checking the position for i n and j n i have already defined the group settings you can select i have given a condition factor of 1 2 rating material here you can define rating materials for the garden and for the slab you can also provide the uh, the code for rebus and the grade of rebus here for defining rating case here you can see this is the service limit state and the strength limit state can be defined and you can give the different load cases for DC, DW, temperature, temperature gradient, permanent and user defined. Apart from that, you can provide primary vehicles and the adjacent vehicles that provided. The live load rating factors can also be seen here. Evaluation of live load model, we have design live load, legal live load and the permit live load. For example, I have defined the serviceability given, I have given the rating case as SER and also the strength as you can see here. This is how the rating case can be defined. Reinforcements can also be provided. I have already defined the reinforcements here. Again, for understanding or learning more about reinforcements in my recipe, you can definitely check out the YouTube videos pertaining to this. You can provide the longitudinal as well as the shear reinforcements. Yes. Now, diagnostic test results. So for that we have to since I have selected displacement option here you can see that it's a displacement at the I end you can give the displacement which you have measured at the site you can select everything and you can click on apply so this is basically an adjustment factor resulting from comparison of measured test behavior with the analytical model can be considered to calculate the load rating factor based on the test results. So this is where the diagnostic test results comes into play. If you want to see those in uh, tabular format, you can click on these three dots. You can see that all the elements have been applied. This displacement. This is kind of calibrating. Now, position for rating output. We have to define certain positions for rating output. I'll be selecting 26 and uh, 16 elements. So 
this will be 26 sorry this will be 16 and this will be 26 so these are the two elements click on apply now the selection now let's run the analysis perform rating i have already done the design okay give it one second The load rating has been performed successfully you will get the message here now let's check the results we can generate an excel report see here uh, excel report can be generated which is very detailed excel report is getting generated So this will be the excel report which is generated for 26 and for 16 you can see the flexure test is done the measure type displacement you can see the rating factor here it is very small that is why it is not showing you can see for shear likewise for stresses again rating factor for slab likewise there is for 26 element 26 j and apart from that we have a summary table so in the summary table you can check all the values see here so this is how a very detailed excel report will be generated apart from that you can check the results in tables so such table you can have service limit state summary strength limit state summary st stress rating factors for example if you click on that you can see the stress rating factors check these factors and if any factor if the rating factor is less than one less than one you can see that it is showing not good apart from that you can even check the results in terms of diagrams rating diagrams all rating is service and strength so compression and tension you see that the it can be the uh, the results can be viewed in diagrams as well then please check on strength Check on shear, click on apply. You see that the results can be seen. If you want to see the values, it is possible. Um, so, this is how we can carry out a load rating of pre stress bridges in Midas Civil. I believe this video was useful. So, stay tuned for more exciting videos. Thank you.